Minnesota is about to get a lot of national attention as Governor Tim Walz is named the Democratic candidate for vice president. The campaign will be in Eau Claire this morning to pick things up after uh, making it official in Philadelphia last night. And now, welcome the next vice president of the United States, Tim Walz. And our Corin Hoggard is live in Philadelphia right now and attended the rally last night. Corin, we could see there was a lot of energy in the room. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Tom and Alex. There was absolutely a lot of energy here in Philadelphia as they filled up the Leah Chorus Center there on the Temple University campus. We saw lines just wrapping around the building going for blocks and blocks and blocks as people went in there. And then that place has a 10,200 capacity. Even the overflow area, though, also overflowed. For most of the thousands of people in attendance, though, this was their first chance to learn about Tim Walls, the new vice presidential candidate. Current Vice President Kamala Harris introduced Minnesota's governor as a running mate by including a sort of resume. She mentioned his history in the National Guard, as a teacher, as a congressional Democrat in a fairly rural district, and then some of his accomplishments as governor in Minnesota. And the favorable crowd ate it up, including a Minnesota native who's now in Philly. I think it's indescribable. I feel like Minnesotans, we have like a lot of heart and soul for our state and we just are excited to share it with the whole country and the whole world um, with Tim at the helm. I love Tim Walls. I'm an educator and I'm a coach, so I love that he's an educator. He's a nice guy. He's full of joy. He's fun. He's got a lot of great energy and I think he is going to be a great addition to the ticket. And now the Harris Walls ticket is touring swing states. Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance is mirroring a lot of their stops. He was here in Philadelphia yesterday and he called the Democrats dangerously liberal. Kamala chaos was his backdrop. And he blamed Governor Walls for a delayed response to the George Floyd riots in 2020. Now both Vance and the Democratic ticket, as you mentioned, will be in Eau Claire today and so will Fox 9. So stay tuned for continuing and complete coverage. For now, we're live in Philadelphia. Corin Hoggard, Fox 9. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we know Corin got the, the news when he was in flight yesterday right. and pretty much hit the ground running when he got to Philly. All right, thank you, Corin.